Hey there, welcome back! In this video, I'm gonna walk you through generating a DeepL API key for automatic website translation in WordPress. This time, we'll use a paid version of TranslatePress, the multilingual WordPress plugin, to automatically translate a website because this gives us access to the premium DeepL automatic translation add-on. This add-on is only available with the business or developer licenses of the plugin. But if you're on a budget, however, you can also use the free version of TranslatePress and base your automatic translations on the Google Translate engine instead of DeepL. Alright, so to start things off, you'll first need to retrieve your DeepL API key in order for the automatic translations to work. In order for DeepL to generate an API key for your website translation, you'll need to sign up for a developer plan on DeepL.com. Here, you'll have two options. If you have a rather small website with a smaller amount of text to be translated, you can go for the DeepL API free plan and translate up to 500,000 characters per month for free. However, if you'll be needing to translate more than that, you should opt for the DeepL API Pro plan for $549 per month plus a monthly usage-based fee. Note that whichever plan you end up choosing, DeepL will be needing your credit card information in order to verify your account but they will only charge it if you've opted for the pro version. So after you've chosen your preferred plan, you'll have to navigate to your DeepL account and check your account details. At the bottom of this page, you'll find your DeepL API key. Now all you have to do is just copy it from here and then head to your WordPress dashboard. If you don't already have the TranslatePress plugin installed, go ahead and do that first. We already have a video showing you exactly how to do that, so I'll link it in the upper right corner of this video right now. Once your Pro plugin is installed and activated, the next step is activating the DeepL Automatic Translation add-on. For this, you'll need to go to Settings, Translate Press, and then navigate to the Add-ons tab. Locate the DeepL add-on and activate it by clicking the blue button to its right. Now let's go to the Automatic Translation tab to enable automatic translations for your WordPress site. Start by selecting Yes from the drop-down shown on this page, and then the rest of the settings should be revealed right below. Next, select DeepL as your translation engine and make sure to choose the appropriate DeepL API type. In my case, I've subscribed for the free DeepL API, so I'm gonna choose the second option. Now, remember the key we've previously copied from the DeepL website? Simply paste it here in the DeepL API key field. If you've also chosen the free API plan with limited characters, or if you'd simply like to stay within a certain budget, you can also set a daily limit of translated characters here. Note that when you go for the Pro API plan, DeepL also offers you some cost control settings directly on their site under your own account phase. Save your changes and let's put TranslatePress to work by adding a second language to your website. Go to the General tab of TranslatePress settings and choose the default language and the language you want to automatically translate your content into. In this example, I'm going to use German. Click the Save Changes button and let's see how the newly translated website looks. Open your website in the front end and click on the language switcher that TranslatePress has automatically added for you. That's it! Your site should now be translated into your chosen language so your visitors can easily switch between the languages you provided for browsing the website. But before you call it a day, make sure to proofread your content though, because we all know that automatic machine translations are not always perfect. So use the translate page button in the admin toolbar to adjust the text if needed. Well, that was pretty easy, right? If you need any more information, I've linked the translate press documentation in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more useful WordPress tutorials. Thanks for watching!